Hello everyone, welcome back to the Netrock server. I hope you're all doing okay today. I am, ooh, crack of the knuckles, I am doing just fine, thank you very much. Hope you're all staying safe in this continued quarantine of the planet. <laughs> you join me here just doing a spot of fishing because I need to get my pick repaired. It's in a pretty, uh, pretty large state of disarray right here. Um, with very good reason, I've been doing an awful lot of mining. Considering how I said that this wasn't really going to be much of a permanent strip mine, it has become somewhat of a permanent strip mine. Just have a look at all these goodies and odds and ends right here. Plenty of stuff to be getting our teeth into. Um, yeah, plenty, plenty there very very much a fan of, of that strip mine it's been very very bountiful for us i'm gonna quickly run home and get some rest because i think it's been a few days and i don't really want the phantoms coming out to get me also i don't have my sword on me so <laughs> i'm uh, i'm gonna have to do a very quick speedy run back i was uh, i had a skeleton shoot me with an arrow or attempt to shoot me with an arrow and it's been here ever since I'm not sure what it's lodged in. I'm assuming it's lodged in like the bamboo stick here, but it's been here for a very long time and it just hasn't despawned. Uh, uh oh. So that'll teach me for getting sidetracked by odd quirks of the game. Not sure what to do with that arrow. I kind of want to. Oh, hi there, buddy. A uh, toolsmith or something. Yeah, I'm uh, not sure what to do with that arrow. I'm not sure there is anything to do with it, to be honest. So um, I guess I'm just going to leave it there for the time being. Oh no. Oh, double no. <laughs> uh oh. Right, let's get some rest. The vines are growing. I need to trim these vines around here. They're too, uh, too plentiful at the moment. Ugh. Sun has risen. Dopey spider. He's coming for me, isn't he? Ah, he seems subdued. So. Um, between episodes, Sammy and I did a little trade. Uh, he was in desperate need of <laughs> in desperate need of some blaze rods. I had plenty, so he offered to pay a diamond for every sixteen blaze rods we gave him. He very kindly donated us eight diamonds in exchange for two stacks of blaze rods. He also asked for some nether wart, which I very obligingly gave him, and that is what the iron is for. And he also gifted us a cake right here as well, as you will be able to see from the footage. I have also tamed a second parrot just because he was sort of pottering around in our local area right here. So I decided to keep him as a friend and he's been just as irritating as, uh, as the other one. We've got this holy birch that Sammy planted. Not going to do anything with this just yet. I haven't got a plan for this at the moment. I'm sure something will come up at some point. I also took it upon myself to build a little lookout area just at the top of this tree right here. We'll, uh, we climb the vines right here and it's just a small little like observation platform really nothing nothing too special about it just a nice little bit of deck up here to kind of stand and survey what's going on around us i just thought this might be quite nice and handy to have now this chest right here contains all of my tools and stuff 
as well as a variety of books that we need to add to our our gear. So I have a book and quill right here which details all of the enchantments that I need to get for all of the all of the tools that we have outstanding. Uh, so as you can see my axe right here is actually ready to go. We just have mending efficiency 5 and naming to do for that. The sword just needs fire aspect 2. If they've got ready next to them then we've got all of the enchantments there that we need to do. So we're actually going to go ahead and take care of some of those. So before I do my axe, that's going to get the mending and the efficiency right there, I'm going to want to just do my armour right here. So the leggings are actually all done other than mending and everything else has got it there. So we're going to take this one iron chest plate that we have and smelt that down into a nugget. We don't need that anymore. These diamond boots that I am wearing at the moment, I accidentally made. I know, sad times. <laughs> Wasted four diamonds on those. Um, so that's unfortunate. These are all pretty much ready to go though, and we're going to enchant all of this up. It's very important that we get this enchanted for what we are going to go off and do. So first things first is our diamond helmet getting respiration 3. This is, what should we call this? We're just going to call this the tack hat, I think. So that is now our headpiece ready to go. We can cross that off of our list of things to do. Helmet. Uh, oh, it does, it does just need mending though, actually. So we're not quite ready to go on that just yet. Uh, the vest is going to get mending and unbreaking put on it. So let's do the mending and the unbreaking. And it has also been named as well, so we can get rid of all of that. Perfect. The leggings just need mending and naming, so these are going to be... My smart trousers for one level, that's great. And then we're going to put feather falling onto our sneaks right here. Wonderful. So leggings just need mending. And the shoes need projectile protection four, so that we have some of all the kinds of protection and mending. And we've also got a crossbow there as well. Uh, the sword, we've got fire aspect. Can I put that on now? Let's find out. Oof, too expensive, too expensive. That's not surprising. We'll have to do that another time. We'll go and get all the levels to take care of that. Can we do the axe while we're here then instead? Can we put efficiency 5 and mending on there? We certainly can. And this is going to be my chopper. Fantastic. So that is the axe all taken care of as well. Wonderful. Very, very good indeed. Now, in this episode, I did say that we would begin deforesting the jungle. We're not quite ready for that yet, because we're going to need some help to make sure that this is nice and efficient. So, obviously, I've put the efficiency and the mending and the unbreaking on the axe, so we'll be able to work at the jungle for longer. However, what we need is we need to be able to go faster. Much, much faster. And in order to do that... We are going to need a beacon or two. So we're going to go and have a crack at the wither. <laughs> and I am feeling very nervous about taking on the wither. Very nervous indeed. <laughs> I um well you know what let's uh let's go let's go to the let's go to the nether and I'll show you what what we've got going on because I've also been doing some work in the nether as well I have been busy in the nether so we'll go and we'll just go and have a little poke around and show you what's up oh before we do before we do I've forgotten something 
something that I'm not proud of, but you all do need to know about this. Unfortunately, we have died. My first death on the server came at the hands of a blaze, and then I have also died as a result of nether skeletons. One of them even pushed me off a ledge and killed me. I have footage of our first death, well, of sorts, which I'll uh, I'll copy in now for you. But yeah, that's uh, that's very miserable indeed. Uh, first death. There's a really cool way through the jungle here where you jump through the vines and it slows you down. So we kind of jump through the vines and get slowed down enough so that we can land in the water there without taking any fall damage. <laughs> it's my favourite part of the journey over to here. Alrighty, you join me here in the nether. I've been up to a couple of bits and bobs. Now, as I said in a previous episode, the nether is going to get reset, so I've not actually done too much work down here for the time being, just because I don't want to lose everything. However, what I have done, I have done a little bit of work just out here in the nether fortress. So I've kind of demolished a lot of it and just created this really large flat spawning space of nether brick to try and encourage wither skeletons to spawn more frequently. Um, it's kind of worked, as you've seen, we've managed to grab six wither skulls just through a combination of this increased spawning area and looting three. So it is kind of doing the job. Uh, we're also coming up here because what I would be gutted to lose is this. We have a blaze spawner and a second one. Two blaze spawners right next to each other would make a phenomenally great blaze bod farm. And I don't want to lose those. <laughs> but we will see. If we do lose them, then we lose them and we'll just have to make do. But never mind. Never mind. Uh, it has been useful to have. That's how I've managed to get all the blaze rods for Sammy. Anyway, we are coming over here. I found a piece of the nether where we have access to the bedrock ceiling that should provide an ideal position for us to... Oh, man, climbing through scaffolding is tedious, eh? <laughs> it should provide us with a ideal space for taking out the wither nice and easily. We should hopefully be able to suffocate it in the ceiling whilst also dealing a significant amount of damage. In theory. <laughs> I have this chest right here. We're just going to swap those out. And we're going to pop two of those in there. We're not going to need that. We'll pop those in there so that we don't lose all of that. Now, I've hollowed this space out and filled it with cobblestone. It's like a three thick cobblestone wall all the way around here so that when the wither explodes hopefully it doesn't destroy too much. Ah, oh, this is making me nervous. I've got a smite five sword right here. This is the most effective sword for killing the wither. And in theory laying it out on these blocks here should mean that it'll suffocate in the bedrock just here. Oh, oh dear. Okay. Okay, let's get those in place. Oh, <laughs> okay, we've got all the diamond armor on, we've got our super sword, we've got some food, some good food at that, and a strength potion as well. It doesn't last for very long, but hopefully, this is a precaution in case it escapes. Are we ready? Uh, let's do this. Fingers crossed. <laughs> okay. Well, it is in the bedrock at least. There is that. Sorry about my phone going off. I should put it on silent. Okay, exploded. The Everything is still there. He has fired a skull, but the wall is holding up. He's not doing anything. Oh. Championé! Championé! <laughs> awesome! Wonderful. Oh, I can't get access to those bricks though, because I didn't bring a pick with me. But, never mind. Should we do a second one as well? I think we should. Why not? That was, that was fine. Helped out by the strength potion, I feel. It's made me nervous that he has cleared that space right there. But... Oh no! Oh, I put down the wrong thing. Oh, now I can't reach it. 
no. Oh, no. No. <laughs> okay. Well, we'd better go back and get a pick and then uh, come back and have another crack at this, getting the second one. <laughs> oh, no. Please don't despawn, 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 please don't speed. Oh, he was doing well. Climb faster, Pokey. Here we go. Still be there, still be there, still be there, still be there. It's still there. Yes. Fantastic. Alright, let's uh let's just pop these back. I'm not sure if these are one hundred percent necessary to be here. But I would rather not take the chance. Oh, he obviously destroyed some of the cobble here. I think the important ones are to get the ones in, back in the ceiling. But Alright, I'm going to grab another strength potion. Just because I don't want this all to go completely wrong. And we're going to pop our first Wither Star in there. Alrighty, here we go. Wither number two. Oh, I got some more cobble out of that. Okay, well let's just pop those there. Cool. All right, here we go. Uno, dos, tres. Looking good once again. I should probably drink the potion. Okay, he's destroyed that cobble again. That seems to be a permanent fixture. But... He did at the very least suffocate and not cause us any problems once again. Perfect! Oh, I'm so, so glad. <laughs> so, so glad that that works and doesn't cause any problems. At least it doesn't appear to have caused any problems. <laughs> that's, uh, that's an important distinction to make. But it does appear to work, which is fantastic. Very, very pleased indeed. Whew! Wonderful, we have got ourselves a beacon. Well, we, we got two, in theory. What we need to do now is spend some time mining up all of the resources we're going to need to get ourselves a couple of functioning beacons. That's why I've been mining so much, but I don't know whether or not we actually have enough stuff. We need two and a half... Is it two and a half or one and a half? think it's two and a half stacks of ore blocks to make a beacon base to make just one and then obviously we can pop the two beacons next to each other so that should hopefully allow us to use our use our ore blocks a bit more efficiently if we need to but I don't like look at that with a skelly over there but we'll see we'll get back I'll begin smelting down all of the ore that we have mined, and we'll see if we can get ourselves a beacon set up in this episode too. Ah, already have returned. Got myself plenty of ore to begin smelting up. Let's have a look and see what we've got already. So we've got 50 blocks right there. I think it might be two and a half stacks, which is a lot, but I'm sure we'll be fine. I'm sure we shall manage. I'm going to need to get myself another chest right here so that I can begin cooking all of that. We'll just pop all of that in there. Now we can use gold, iron, diamonds and emeralds, I think. So I think we'll have plenty. But it remains to be seen. I thought we'd fortune up some more diamonds as well. I've got 10 blocks right here. Let's see how we'll do. I'm going to hope for... Let's go... 20? Let's see what we can do out of this. Hoping for 20. Ah! <laughs> Alrighty, everybody. It has been a good few days now since we fought a couple of withers. And I have spent the vast majority of that time doing an absolutely unbelievable amount of mining and caving and all sorts. Of... I saw you there. Don't think I did. Oh, oh, I didn't see all of you though. 
So yes, we've been busy doing all sorts of mining and caving and resource gathering. Could I maybe, perhaps, well, I was going to see if I could get a record or two, but then the skeleton had other ideas and just charged headlong into the water for no good reason. Never mind. Records are so hard to get now that skeletons are smart. I mean, they've been that way for ages, but records are just too darn difficult to get. Having said that, I did come across a dungeon and I am now the proud owner of two wherever I put them. Well, four discs, but two copies of two different tracks anyway. I've rearranged all of the chests as well. Anyway, yes, I've been doing a huge heap of... I can hear footsteps. Yeah, you used to... Freaking parrots! video. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. Thank you. Take care. Have a good day. Bye.